Marty Cobb and Ryan Bast work for the Motor Safety Association of Saskatchewan, a nonprofit organization. They look after the safety of any businesses involved with working with motors, including South Country equipment near Regina. Right now they're catching up with Nathan Sapach, one of the service technicians here at South Country Equipment. We basically operate off of an operational grant from the Workers' Compensation Board. Our main mandate is injury prevention. Basically, we look after 3,500 companies in Saskatchewan with about 25,000 employees. Past discussions with agricultural machinery technicians indicated that lifting concaves out of combines creates the risk of back injuries. So upon their discussion, we looked for alternatives to try and remove concaves safely from combines. Actually, one of the technicians we spoke with has a one-year-old daughter, and when he removed a concave from a combine, he hurt his back, and he wasn't able to lift his daughter for over a year. So we took the request very seriously and wanted to do the best practice we could to find a solution. Bast and his co-workers analyzed the problem and created a handy solution to take the back work out of working with concaves, as demonstrated here by Bast and Sapatch. We mounted this 12-volt ATV winch onto the platform of the combine. From there we ran a wiring harness to the other side of the combine and hooked it directly to the battery. In place overhead we mounted a swiveling snatch block system for the concave and it was important to use the swiveling snatch block to allow the concave to move out freely with the correct angles. At that time we ran a sling through the uh, concave, hooked our winch cable to the sling and proceeded uh, to use the winch to get the concave out. For added convenience they converted the winch to run off a wireless remote control. So we remove the, the, the hand controller and we put this circuit breaker in for protection and we extended the wiring harness directly to the battery on the opposite side, uh, therefore allowing us to control it with the wireless controller. Bast expects the use of this system to greatly reduce back injuries among farmers and farm equipment technicians since concaves are removed and reinserted regularly. He says they designed the system to be adaptable to just about any self-propelled combine. As long as you have a, a system overhead where you can mount your swiveling snatch block as well as a, a platform lower down. And actually, interestingly enough, this, this design, what we've done, is field friendly. You can actually use an ATV if you drive your ATV in with a front mount winch and use your ATV winch on the same snatch block cable system. You'd be able to use an ATV winch right in the field if you didn't want to purchase a separate winch. Farm equipment dealerships such as South Country Equipment are always interested in supporting this type of initiative to promote employee safety according to service manager Rob Osmack. Went through everything with them and gave them suggestions because they weren't as familiar with the combine as we were, so we tried to give them points where to anchor the system and work with it, so kind of were, you know, tried to help them as much as we could to get the project rolling. Bass told us before coming up with this invention, they looked at using concaves half as wide and therefore half as heavy as the factory built versions, but that still left them with the injury hazard of lifting a 50 pound concave. He encourages farmers to make their own concave winch systems since all you need is a 12 volt winch, a swiveling snatch block, a set of clevises and a wiring harness.